know, as we sit here getting ready and looking at year end, uh, one of the things that we can really do is to start planning and preparing for some of those year end 1099 planning uh, or forms that we need to get ready to file at the end of the year. So um, just a couple of things to, to make sure and take a look at as you're getting ready uh, for that time period. Um, you know, oftentimes it's best just to go back and do a refresher and, and, and just get um, some further information on what the requirements are for filing those 1099s for independent contractors versus the classification of an employee and filing those W-2s. Uh, getting a refresher on that and making sure you've got the correct classification uh, of individuals that are getting paid in your system is, is often a great place to start. Um, also, you know, an, another good thing to do uh, is to make sure that you've got the updated information from your vendors on hand um, and W-9s uh, for a lot of those vendors. Um, if you're unsure if you've got the most up-to-date tax identification number, you can oftentimes do a TIN match um, and verify that the number that you've got on file matches what's filed with the IRS as well. Knowing that this, this time period is coming up uh, for filing those 1099s with a due date of January 31st, um, any time that you can spend preparing right now, getting ready, getting set, making sure that you've got that information updated and ready to go, uh, certainly helps to alleviate a lot of that stress that can come with getting these items done in that short time period. So if you want any further information, whether it's on the 1099 filing process or dealership practices, feel free to go out to our website and look up more information at idbailey.com. Thank you.